Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'ala, Koholoyim La, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim, Rekaha Kodash, Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and led by the Spirit, taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. Zachananawa. It's coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Um, just a you know, like a quick PSA. Uh, and this is an article. It says, "A uh, white man fatally stabs black Walmart employee in racist attack." Right. So we know that there is no such thing as white people or black people. There are different shades of red people, and the red people are called Edomites in the Bible. That's their biblical nationality. Esau, Edom, one of the twins that were born of Isaac and Rebekah. The other twin, the so-called blacks. There's just different shades of brown people. There's no such thing as somebody looking like a car tire or, you know, somebody looking like a glass of milk. Again, there's no such thing as white people or black people. Different shades of browns, different shades of reds. You got Esau, Edom, the so-called white race. That's their biblical nationality. And you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you come from Jacob. You got Esau and Jacob. This is the whole thing that's going on throughout the earth. It's always been that good against evil. And the evil race of people that the Lord created are the Edomites, which are the so-called white people. And they have a perpetual hatred for you so-called blacks, which you're, like I said again, your biblical nationality is your Israelites. So we do these lessons all the time to let you know, be circumspect, to watch yourself, to not trust these people You can't trust them They don't like you They never will I mean it just is what it is The, the truth of the Bible is is, is, is is out there man The Lord said don't trust these people They have the power to kill you And they don't get into trouble Like how you would if you were to do something to them So you have to beware We, we do these lessons all the time We do them all the time So let's read through some of it Because remember the Buffalo um, shooting, the so-called white guy with the replacement theology um, thoughts. Negroes are somehow replacing them all of a sudden. You know, he does reconnaissance on the city of Buffalo, so to speak, around that area. And he he comes in the next day and he shoots up big mama and them. You got to be aware of these people, man. Watch yourself when you're out in public. When you see one of them and they just look out of place. As a matter of fact, just go do what you got to do and just, you know, Get done with it. But you should be praying. We always say that. I can't stress it enough. Pray without ceasing. You should be praying before you leave your house. Praying before you leave, um, get in your car. Traveling to and fro, man. You, you should be doing that. Praying for the protections of who? Yahweh. Wah. Yahweh Shai. The true names of the Father and the Son. Yahweh is the true name of the Father, which means he exists or the existing one. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his son that's coming to get us out of the hands of our enemies that have been our enemies since the beginning of time, man. <laughs> hey, for real. These people have been doing whatever they want to do to us as a people for a real long time. And guess what? They're going to try to do that shit again. I mean, the Lord is going to let them loose. The Lord is about to let these people loose during Jacob's trouble, man. They have a perpetual hatred towards you. They're never going to let that up. You can run around here and get to talking about how that, not all of them are like that. It don't make no A. Hey, you can figure it out if you want to. But the Lord said to stay away from the man that had the power to kill and to never trust thine enemy. So we letting you know. This is another public ser service announcement. I'm letting you, just letting you know. Okay, so let's get some of the story. An Illinois man is facing charges. After he allegedly stabbed a black Walmart employee to death in a racially motivated attack. Timothy Carter, 28, was arrested on charges of first degree murder in connection to the stabbing death of an 18 year old Walmart employee identified as Jason Jenkins Sunday, March 24th. Right. According to surveillance video from the Walmart in Rockford, Illinois, 
Carter grabbed two knives from the shelves and walked around the store giving all African-American people dirty looks. Carter eventually walked up behind Jenkins and stabbed him in the back. One witness said they heard Carter use a racial slur after the stabbing. Rockford police of officers responded to the Walmart and took Carter into custody. See, they just go, they get taken into custody. No scratches on them. They don't get wrestled down. They don't get punched, socked, kicked, or nothing like that. They just, you know, they, you know, turn around, put your hands behind your back, and they, you know, um, make sure that they help them get in easily so they don't bump their head and shit getting in. This is how they're treated. Right? But when it comes to us, come on, bro. Anyway, it says Jenkins was taken to the hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. According to a arrest report, Carter said he sought treatment for a mental health crisis. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's always that mental health crisis he experienced earlier that day. But he was turned away and wanted to kill himself. Yeah, well, why didn't he just go ahead and do that? Walmart addressed the violent attack in a statement on Monday, March 25th. We're devastated to learn that one of our associates has died following a violent attack inside a Rockford, Illinois store. We offer our heartfelt condolences. You already know the bullshit. Now, why don't you offer some of that goddamn money up to the family and, 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 and you know, do that. Right. But I'm telling you, man, let me just grab the scriptures that I was quoting. Be aware of these people. Because things are turning up. You're living in the last days, man. Matter of fact, let me get this one first. I mean, you know, hey, we look at stuff like this. We know judgment is going out. You know what I'm saying? We know that there is a Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's the one that kills and makes alive. You know what I'm saying? It, but, you know, these are Israelites and they are our people. So we're not inhumane. It's not like it don't, it don't kick in and hurt a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But we understand why and what's going on. But Esau, man, you you so-called white people, man, the Lord going to make y'all pay for what y'all been doing to us for these 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 centuries, man. I mean, it is what it is. It's not going to be a good look for what's coming to y'all. It's not going to. It's just not. It's not. I'm laughing it off, man. Hey, yo, it's not going to be a good look when the Lord give to you what you have given to us, man. Right. Ephesians 5 and 15, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. I just done a lesson, I think, yesterday or the day before, maybe two, three days ago. But, you know, they got this, you know, these, these, these TikTok chicks been getting punched, socked in the damn face, not paying attention, all on the phone. Be circumspect, man. Look around you. See who's within your vicinity. You ain't got to eyeball them. You ain't got to, you know, um, but at least know, okay, there's someone around me. And they've been, you know, I've noticed that they followed me from aisle to aisle, whatever the case. Look in your mirrors while you're driving. Look behind you while you're walking out of these places with your buggy. You know, and, and we normally say our women because you're the weaker vessel. Look around you. Stop, stop looking down at that fucking phone. We say that all the time. Walk circumspectly. Now, let's get another one. Got to be aware of these people, man. And they can say what they want. You don't owe them no excuse as to why you're, you're you know, you don't trust their asses. You don't owe them that. We don't trust you because your track record is horrible for the past 500 years. God damn it. That's why we don't trust you. Need I say any more? But I'm not like that. I don't give a fuck. Don't want to be around you. Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy for like his iron rusted so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Which means he's going to eventually show you those true colors. Because you know what? I noticed that white. So I, I, I noticed this the other day. I seen, um, now he's all out of place. I went to a Walmart. There's a Walmart, you know what I'm saying? And it's generally, um, Northern Kingdom. It's a lot of, um, it's a car in there. It pretty much is just overall so-called Mexicans. The other half of the group that be in there is Ishmael, the Arabs. Cause they kind of like, you know, collide in a, in a, in the same area. But that's all that's in that store pretty much. 
you know, other than, you know, some Jake that's in there. You know, it's Jake pretty much working all the shit. You know what I'm saying? Jake, you know, the, the tribe of Judah is pretty much working the, the registers and, you know, the the stock and all that other shit. But generally, it is Issachar and Ishmael in that story. And I seen a so-called white guy and that boy so out of place. And, you know, nobody was paying him no attention. Nobody was looking. It's like he was walking through that bitch and he was invisible. Lockyer. He was invisible. Literally. He was invisible in the building, man. And, and it don't and that's just me just in the spirit, you know, being circumspect, you know, looking around, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm peeping him. Nobody's looking at him. I didn't, you know, I didn't eyeball him in his eyes or nothing like that. I'm just looking like I seen him. You know, I you know, I seen him from a distance. I'm watching him, I'm seeing him. You know, I didn't, you know. Just like I'm blatantly staring him down once he got closer to me. But I'm peeping him. I'm looking at him. He walking through there with his vans on. You know, them van shoot, goddamn skateboarder. All out of place. Only so-called white person in that entire fucking Walmart. And I'm looking like nobody's looking at him. Nobody's check checking him out. Nobody, no one's staring at him. Nobody's looking like, well, what are you doing? Where the fuck you come from? Because, you know, you're looking like one of the most dusty-ass skateboarders. Nobody's looking. Everybody's just talking, giggling, laughing on their phones, all this shit. He could have easily came in there, man, and done what he wanted to do. That's how a lot of our people been getting caught off guard. You're dialing roofs, walking up in churches and shit. Oh, come on in. The Lord loves you. Nobody's paying it, you know. So you got to be circumspect, man. Never trust this man because he'll go humbling and, and, and crouching. But in the meanwhile, he's, you know, he, he, he has that hatred for you, man. As a matter of fact, let's get. um. But see, hey, it's about to turn up out here. This shit, hey, eventually. The Lord is just going to hit click button, man, on. He's going to turn it on gonna be damn near like that movie <laughs> that movie with uh samuel l jackson where he was the billionaire uh what the kingsman the motherfuckers gonna be going going crazy man but anyway hey man just be aware of your surroundings can't stress it enough ezekiel 5 um 35 and 5 because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had is had an end Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee since thou hast not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. And this is this is this is for you so-called white people. Mount Seir, you Idumians. The Lord is going to get y'all. He's going to get y'all. I mean, it's coming. Here you go, you in 2024 and you got this type of shit going on. Oh, he wanted to check into a psychiatric treatment center today. But they, you know, they, they turn him away. Now he can go to court. Claim that bullshit ass insanity shit and get off. A 18 year old, bro. This motherfucker, you know, he living at home with his mama, eating cereal in the basement. You know, fussing about the Internet. Um, um, keep going out because so he, he can't play his fucking game. Call of Duty or whatever. And you stabbing somebody's... Uh, look, man. In the ancient... That, that, that right there, that's a fucking act of war, basically. An 18-year-old? you t A son? That's supposed to carry on the lineage of his father? That was a big thing back in the ancient days, man. Young man just at work. Brother can't go to work, bro, without Esau on his ass, man. Motherfucker in that bitch with butcher knives from the fucking kitchen area stabbing people, man. You can't tell me this man is not the fucking wicked, bro. And forgive me for my language, man, but God damn, bro. You, Jake, yo, hey, this is why it's so important to repent. You not tired of this place? You not tired of these fucking people being over you? Y'all should be fucking repenting and all using your damn resources as far as social media. And it should be 
millions of damn camps out here chanting down this fucking kingdom, man. As a matter of fact, there's a scripture that talks about if we would just come together and just pray to Yahweh by Shemiah and, 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 and repent to him, he'll handle all this shit immediately, pr pretty much, roughly paraphrasing. But what does Jake do? They love this fucking place, man. We're being downtrodden from every area. You can't even go to work, bro. You go into the plantation to work for these motherfuckers, and that ain't enough without Esau walking through the motherfucker lurking and, and hunting you and, 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 and just hunting our people, bro. Y'all not tired of that shit? Repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and get the prophesying against this place, man. We be praying. I pray every day, multiple times a day for more laborers for the harvest, man. More laborers, man. Straight up. And if you a person that's into this truth, you know these scriptures, bro, and you not doing no work, man. Damn, bro. You might as well just go ahead and just go, take your ass back in the world, man, and just go ahead and do what the rest of these other niggas is doing because you ain't no help. Shit is retarded, bro. 18 year old young man just at work trying to make a little living man and fucking Esau comes into the damn store and stabs him in his guy man boy I tell you bro I tell you and, and they don't tell him what the comments say some of these, these some of these fucking Edomites be in the comments talking all kinds of shit bro This person says it's comical how people try to pick sides on races. There is a tragedy, whether a racial attack or a mental health crisis. My heart goes out to the slain victims. Fam nah, man, fuck all that. See, fuck all that. Two men's lives most likely gone. One may get insanity and, and not a long sentence. I have no idea. I don't have the, the details or anything, man, bro. Nah, bro. We, hey, we're praying to Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai that judgment comes soon to Edomites, to, to Babylon the Great, good old America that enslaved us to begin with, man. We're praying that, hey, because this is what's about to happen to y'all. Y'all don't understand. This right here is what's about to happen to you Edomites, man. Right here. See y'all don't see y'all don't know what y'all doing. You have no idea what's about to come to you guys, man. But you know what though? Hey, it's all prophecy. And we can't wait until it comes to pass, baby. Revelation 13, and I'm gonna start at verse 9. If any man have a near, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's all we're doing. We're just patiently and faithfully waiting teaching the Gospels, reading the Bible. Y'all want to get mad about what's being said? Get mad with the very same Bible that you enslaved us with when you was running around here promoting white Jesus, which is a goddamn idol. So the Lord is going to deal with you. Don't worry about it. But hey, again, you know, I just really wanted to touch on this, man, because, hey, y'all got to watch out. Be careful when you're out and about. Pray to Yahweh about you on your side to, to protect you, man. Give you the eyesight to see the bullshit. Give you what you, you know what I'm saying? Just to just, you know, that just that overall protection. The Lord is, 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 is good, man. He'll look out for you. These people, you got to watch out for these people. I don't care where you are. That, this right here is a perfect example as to why you got to watch them. Shit. Any motherfucking white person that's coming within your vicinity, you should be on guard. I don't give a shit, man. It's that it's at that point. You thinking this young man went to work, man? You thinking that he was going he was going to get stabbed in his fucking back, bro? Come on, bro. Got to be certain. But like I said again, we do know, hey, because life and death, you know, it, it belongs to the Lord, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39, it talks about how the Lord, he kills and he makes alive. He wounds and he heals. See? It's also in 1 Samuel um, 2 and 6. A bunch of other scriptures. So we know that, you know, that, um, you know, that this is all about the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Messiah. So that's why it's so important to repent. 
Because this shit is retarded, bro. This, is, this, this shit is crazy. I mean, that's, that's a young man, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in America, you know, they, they would consider him still somewhat of a child, you know, so to speak. But that's a, that's a young man that could easily be, you know what I'm saying, have a family. Shit, he could have some damn kids. It's nothing to have two kids or so at, at the age of 18 in America, man. He could, you know what I'm saying? He could be dealing with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Got a baby on the way or whatever the fuck. He's just trying to make, make some coins, man. Pay his rent. You know, whatever he's trying to do. This shit is retarded, bro. Where's the fucking outrage, man? Where you Black Lives Matter niggas at? Shit is crazy, man. Let me see, though. Because I want to see if they got a, a photo to this clown. Going to the... Oh, this, hold on, let me see. Google this nigga real quick, man. Y'all better be, be, be circumspect of these goddamn Edomites, man. Motherfuckers, you know, they, 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 they already, I mean, because they have this mindset that they own you anyway. This the guy right here. Looking like it, I think. If I'm not mistaken, this is him. Look at this motherfucker. You trying to tell me you better not be watching out when you see a motherfucker like this around you? You see a motherfucker like this around you, you need to be. Hey, you, you, hey, what's up? He looking at you. What, what did it, what, what, this shit is retarded. What, what did, what did the, the article say? It says, he grabbed two knives from the shelves and walked around the store giving all of the African American people dirty looks. And all those motherfuckers that be peeping you on cameras, they, they secretly uh, 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 spying and detecting. Where the fuck they at? The motherfuckers in the plain clothes that's walking around to see if you stealing. Why you ain't peeping? See, that's why I'm saying these motherfuckers walk through the stores and they're invisible. But when it comes to you, Jake, they watching your ass. They eyeballing you. Why y'all not eyeballing motherfuckers like this? And I'm telling you, man, it, 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 it's damn. It, you know, you think that they shut down Walmart's Walmart's. It, it should come with an, an, an advisory sticker or some shit. Be aware you could get killed in Walmart because so many people get been getting fucked up in, in Walmart, man. You watching everybody, but you don't see this motherfucker right here. You don't see him. Let's let's, let's see here. Border charges set the bond against a man bro. accused of stabbing a Walmart employee in Rockford. It happened over the weekend. Police say he killed the man. This is Timothy Carter. Uh, police say he stabbed that 18 year old in the back. That worker later died at the hospital. Incredible, bro. Oh, it's Lockia. See what I'm talking about? They ain't even go all that far into the shit. He killed the man. You know, but 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 had that been a so let the, the roles be reversed. A so-called black man in Walmart looking down every white person says a, a racial slur and stabs a white 18 year old boy in a, or teen in the back. Think about the outrage. See, that's how you know that you were the Israelites, man. We're under those curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And that the Lord has placed this base caveman ass society of people over us. These are cavemen. Look at this guy. Man, boy, I tell you. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to end out. I'm trying to keep it as classy as I possibly can, man. This is for educational purposes only for so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to let you know, hey, look. You're not liked here. You're only going to get respect when the Lord comes. In the meanwhile, watch yourself, man. Brace yourself. Be careful. As best I can, you know, I'm trying, you know, like I said, I'm trying to keep it classy. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Don't trust these people, man.